children, grief and art therapy. All of the images you see have been made by clients who have given permission for them to be used or images made by myself to use as an example. Art therapy uses creative processes to help us access and express our thoughts and feelings. It can be particularly helpful for bereaved children as it enables them to share their story in a safe and supported space. Using art enhances a child's ability to tell their story and to make sense of their experiences. Children should know that it is okay to talk about the person that has died and that they are still an important part of their family and who they are. In this image, children represented their families as groups of fish in an underwater scene. This gave the children an opportunity to share stories and memories about their loved one who had died. Art therapy gives children the opportunity to express their grief through art making, helping them to understand that their feelings are normal and that they do not need to hide them. Grief can feel overwhelming and confusing. Creating images allow children to express emotions like fear, anger or worry. I encourage children to explore these complex feelings on the page rather than holding them inside. Every child's feelings and emotions about grief will be different, but the images allow an insight into the child's inner world. During a children's group session, we explored all the different feelings and emotions that we experience by using emoji faces. This allowed the children to talk about all their different emotions and to understand that they are all normal feelings to have. We also talked about who might be best to share these feelings with, especially all the big ones connected to the death of their loved one. Often the pain of grief can be so much that children cannot find words to describe their feelings. But the use of art materials allow a child to explore these feelings in colours shapes and textures. This image made by a child in a session shows what grief feels like to them on different days. For this child a green day is when they have lots of different feelings all day. The red days are when they feel okay most of the day but they might have a few big emotions that visit them that feel out of control. They talked about the yellow days being days where they don't know what they feel and things feel a bit confusing. The pink days are when good things have happened and they haven't thought about their grief. And blue days are days when they just feel sad. This image allowed us to really explore what grief was like for them. But most importantly, they were able to share this with their parent and it gave them a way to let them know what kind of a day it had been. The process of making art is as important as the final image created. The physical experience of working with clay, paints or pastels can unlock feelings and memories, helping us to connect to our emotions in an intuitive, sensory manner. Here you can see how a child can work with wet clay, the sensory feedback from squashing or squeezing it, pounding a fist into it, or making it smooth and silky, allow connections to feelings and a way to regulate the bigger overwhelming emotions grief can bring. Continuing the bonds a child has with the person that has died is an important part of their grief along with the adjusting to their absence. I often use storybooks in sessions. The Invisible String is a story about connection and a great way to introduce an art activity that helps the child stay connected to the person that has died. You can see in these images how unique those connections are to the individual child. And this gives us once again an opportunity to share memories and talk about their loved one. 
Bereaved children can benefit hugely from opportunities to be creative, even without the support of an art therapist. The process of being immersed in an artistic activity can reduce anxiety and promote a sense of well-being. It has been shown that colouring books help both children and adults to manage painful emotions. A visual journal is a lovely way to incorporate many of the healing benefits of art making. A journal or collection of creative projects reveal aspects of our inner world and help us to see our experiences from a new perspective. A journal becomes a place outside of the child to express how they feel, reflect on what has happened to them and make meaning of these experiences. The images made over time by children, either in a therapeutic space or at home, allow the child to look back, to recognise that their emotions change over time and that the images gave them the ability to tell their story.